Um, well, let's kind of switch topics. Uh, let's let's talk about some failures, and and we kind of talked about uh, one already. But I'd love to hear if that wasn't your biggest failure. Um, if you have a story of another failure or your biggest failure and and the lesson you took from it. Yeah, I would say that was that was pretty big one. Um, I would say another one that I, I guess it would classify as a failure, um, but I think it's just a good learning experience. You know, I was in corporate America after I graduated for about five years and I worked at a great company and it was an awesome, you know, they just got voted as n- the number two company in America as far as like companies that care. So they have a great culture, like it's an awesome company. Um, but I knew that I was called to go out on my own and speak and write and do this work. And for four years, I side hustled, right? I was at a nine to five job and did on the side. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Like I learned so much great, so many great things. And God had me where he had me for a reason. But I would say now that I'm self-employed and, and do this work and have the chance, even though there's hard days, man, I almost look back and say, man, I should have done this so much earlier. You know, I could, I should have done this years earlier. And and I, I'm not looking back with regret. You know, I had an amazing job. I was in the mortgage industry at a time where, you know, it was, uh, it was a hot market and all that. So there's no complaints or anything there. But I would say to people that are listening, if you're like, oh man, should I, I have this side passion that I enjoy? Should I go for it? I mean, that's what I would say is like, one, life is short. Two, what are the things that are holding you back? You know, and, and for me, it was like, okay, health insurance or um, just all these unknowns. Well, then when I actually started researching and like taking the ownership of like reaching out to people that I know that are in that, like, hey, what would this look like? It actually was way less like the defenses were lowered because it was like, that's actually not as scary as I thought, you know, and um, and just trusting God in those situations. So I would say, I don't know if it's necessarily a failure, but it's a big learning experience that, and now that I try to tell people is like, if you have that thing that you're like, you know what, I'm in this job, I don't like it, but I have this over here, like, move in some direction towards that. Maybe for you, it is a, you know, a side hustle for a few years before you can jump. But man, when you jump, it is so cool. Just how so many opportunities um, are provided when you actually go all in on something. Yeah, no, I love that. And I think it's funny. There's so many similarities too, in both of our stories, because you talk about your side hustle. We did the same thing for a while. And then we came to a point in the road where a lot of people would view it as a failure and I got fired and for me, looking back, it was the greatest gift uh, I could have been given was to get fired because it launched us into, you know, working on our own, which we we've loved ever since. 